What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Game Over Gurk Man. This is Demon Souls. I feel like I'm really getting back into the uh, back into the spirit of things, sounding a little bit, sounding a little bit more upbeat. Let me know in the comments below if you agree that I'm starting to sound like I'm getting a little bit better. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, we're here to take on a boss known as Phalanx. Um, now I'm going to equip the. Why is that there? Oh, because I ran out of it. Something the game does do, if you use up all of a particular item, it'll replace it with a... Like, another item automatically. Like, it'll automatically fill in your inventory slots, which is kind of annoying. Also, I didn't show this off. This is the brass telescope. It does exactly what you would expect it to. So maybe I can use it to point out some... She's holding it pretty far away from her face, actually, which is a bit, a bit odd. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to use it to do some cool, look at some cool stuff. Music for this boss is awesome. The old phalanx. I love it. Oh, look how much damage that did. Oh man, look how much damage it's doing to me. Ow. Getting a little bit too close there. Uh, these guys do not like fire at all. And just by a... Uh... <laughs> This bastard sword with fire is a bad time for this boss. Ah, I love this weapon. But I'm hoping the weapon I end up playing through this particular playthrough with even ends up being more fun. And uh... Yeah, I'm very excited to uh, give it a try. I used it uh, like last playthrough, I didn't even get high enough stats at any point to uh, use it, period, so... Very excited to... Uh... So for this boss, uh, I should probably talk about him. Um, the idea is he's basically got all of these little... These little guys on him. And... Uh, kind of like, uses them as a defense. So, you don't have to, but it's easier if you were... Uh, do kill all of them first. They keep just kind of like coming off his body. Wow, his frame rate's really, uh, well, I guess he's still got a lot of these guys on him. It's like the frame rate of the game's fine, but you can see the actual animation dropping frames, which is really interesting, actually. I noticed Dark Souls does a lot of that with the uh, enemies in the distance. You'll see that they run, it kind of reminds me a lot of Quake, actually. Um, Quake, the enemies would like, they, even though they were 3D models, they weren't, like, tweened. There was no in-betweens, they were still animated, like, frame by frame. Almost like stop motion. Um, yeah, so here's... I'm just gonna pick up a sharp stone because... Reasons. Shard of Hardstone story. So, uh, yeah, here's a phalanx now is completely, uh, can't defend himself. Poses absolutely zero threat to us. Very, very easy boss, but, you know, not a bad way to start the game. Boss-wise, and like I said, his music is just outstanding. One more and he's done. Adios! So, in order to use the weapon that I'm wanting to, I need at least 30 strength, which is pretty excessive. But, uh, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. It means I'll be sacrificing a lot of other elements in my character's build. Um, but I don't think I'll be using any decks or anything like that, so that's fine. Just we got the Lead Demon Soul, and now we have this here, which is will take us back to the Nexus. So let's go. Monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Alright, so there's a maiden in black. We'll talk to her when we get back from talking to the Monumental. But, uh, so let's just go up there and say hello, shall we? The Monumental's kind of like this ancient, uh, protector, I guess. 
You can also see now that we've beaten our boss, we've got our human form back. We've got our full health bar. And that means that we no longer need the cling ring. Um, it's very easy to forget that the cling ring is on, but when you're in human form, like it really serves absolutely no purpose. So I always take it off when I'm in human form and then have to try to remember to put it back on again once I am back into uh, back into uh, soul form. All right, let's get back up here. Thankfully, the thing about this sword is because it's a strength-based weapon, um, as I upgrade my strength, it will mean I can use this a little bit easier as well on my way to getting the ability to use the weapon that I actually want. I think I'm going the right way, I forget. Not really, it's a dead end here. What have I done wrong? Oh yeah, there's a special thing I gotta go through, that's right. You can see I, uh, there's smoke coming off me there because of the, because of the Thieves Ring. Uh, basically the Thieves Ring, yeah, like I said in the previous episode, allows you to get around, I wouldn't say undetected, but it makes you harder to detect. It took me ages to work out what I was supposed to do here the first time, but there's uh, the one with the candle in front of it. I never noticed that item there before. I want to... How do I get to that item? Is it down here? It is. I never noticed this. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. So we can use those when we are uh, in soul form to get back to having a... Uh, Human form, basically. I never really use them that much, but, uh, you know, they're there if you want to. Anyway, let's talk to the Monumental. They're going to tell us a story. I've long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons, faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the soul arts. Until, a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colourless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious archstones. One, the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. By the power of the monumentals, the four sealed arsones have been... <laughs> arsones. Alright, so yes, it is my turn to try to uh, salvage... Salvage what has been lost. So I'm going to go back downstairs. No, no need to watch me do that, I imagine. And uh, we're going to talk to the Maiden in Black about leveling up. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to talk about the lore. So there, yeah, there's the different Archstones. Each one had been given a different person to kind of like help protect it. 
Um, obviously, that was a long time ago, and that isn't really how things have worked out now in the long term. Which is a shame, but, you know, wouldn't have a game if that isn't what happened. So... I think, so the one that's broken is, okay, so that's that one. That's the one with the Shadow Man, which I absolutely hate, mind you. This one here, so this, it is the, the Giants of the North, so I guess they didn't get to finish that in time. Which is a bit of a shame, I would have liked to have seen what that was. Um, Tower Queen, oh man, we'll actually be fighting her, I believe. Last time we went into the, uh, the Burrow King Archstone. But we're going to be visiting that a little later on. Actually, before we spend our souls here, actually, well, actually, so, so many different things. Okay, before I do anything, um, I'm going to this lead demon soul. Uh, normally in the souls game, you don't use the boss souls because you use them for crafting weapons. But personally, I'm not going to be using this to craft any weapons, so I'm going to spend this lead demon soul. And you can see my soul cannon down the bottom there just went up a little bit, and that is so I can. Because the higher priority in this series, as far as I'm concerned, is upgrading your weapon is more important than upgrading your like soul level. I think it'll have a it has a better um a better outcome basically. So I've just used those shards of hardstone. It doesn't matter that we found those. There is a character who will sell those later on, which is good. But uh, now that we've done that, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Okay, so we'll go over those. Uh, ice stones temporarily connected to the diffused worlds should you lose your physical form and remember the ice stone. That's, that's great. Megan controls inhuman souls. The power allows her to aid those who slay demons. So basically, through her now... Yes, I do. We're going to uh, level up. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth. Touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. So the whole point of this game is basically by killing demons, you collect their souls, and then you can take those souls into your own body to increase your own skills and abilities. So... The first thing I'm going to be focusing on exclusively is strength. Um, because of the build that I'm going for. So already at that point, I think 18. Let me double check, actually. I'm going to check my weapon here, my bastard sword. Stats needed 18, so that's fine. I'm going to continue to pump this up. There we go. So we're at 20. I need 10 more levels until I can use the weapon that I'm actually planning on using. But now that I've got high enough strength skill, I can use the Bastard Sword one-handed with this, which is cool. So that's one of the things we wanted to do. The next thing we want to do is deposit. Oh, that's right, this guy, we found this hairpin on one of the bodies. Sure. Yeah, you can have the Jade Ornament. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think there's another quest line you can do with that. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Ring of Herculean Strength, so I will show you that in a minute when we're going through what stuff does. But we're going to be depositing... I'm spewing that I skipped over his whole thing about the Jade Hair ornament. Um, shard of Hardstone, Shard of Sharpstone. So the cool thing about this guy, Sockball Thomas, is when you are depositing items, uh, particularly um, stuff like stones, you can still use them from pretty much any any uh, blacksmith, even if he's holding onto the items, which is very cool. Um, all right, I'm going to deposit some of these things, but first I'm going to read 
time to do some reading. We're going to check out the uh, lore on these items. So this is the Bastard Sword, a large straight sword. It is as versatile as the straight sword, but as heaviness essentially requires it to be used with both hands. Its crushing blow rapidly depletes an opponent's stamina, easily breaking their guards. So that's why this is a good, uh, good weapon, just because if someone's using a shield against you, you can just smash it and it'll usually go out of the way. Scimitar, a small curved sword. A slashing weapon that inflicts heavy damage upon soft flesh, but has a limited effect on metal armor and hard scales. In addition, it causes its targets to bleed. We have the Mail Breaker, an extremely small rapier. It has no blade and can pierce even hard armor. Rapiers have a narrow attack range, but deal heavy damage. They work well against metal armor and hard scales, and uh, but are easily parried and have difficulty breaking enemies' guards. Mail Breakers are weapons that I uh, personally never really gravitated towards. I don't particularly care for them much. Uh, the mace, a standard hammer favored by church soldiers. Blunt weapons are effective against metal armor and hard scales, as well as draining the target's stamina and breaking their shield defense. Following through with one swing will, and landing the hit will deal a direct hit, which does more damage than normal. We have the light crossbow, a small crossbow in general use amongst the soldiers of Boletaria. It's an easy to handle ranged weapon. Crossbows require bolts to be equipped in order to fire. They cannot be aimed and reloading takes time. And then I think lastly, yes, or almost lastly, Talisman of God, a metal crafted amulet which resembles the symbol of the God used to cast miracles. Um, we have one miracle equipped, which is heal, which I haven't actually used. I've never used a miracle before, so this will probably be the first playthrough I ever do that. And the Heater Shield, a medium-sized metal shield. Since it's easy to handle, its use is widespread, especially among soldiers of the church. So that's pretty neat. Um, the Orc Guide of Souls. Well, actually, I'm not going to bother reading what the grass is. So basically, these are healing items and things like that. Old Spice recovers amount of MP. There's not a lot of lore in these items that end up in here. Um, return. Oh, except for the Nexial Binding. Uh, the symbol of those imprisoned in the Nexus... Having these ties, having this ties you to the Nexus, even if you lose your physical body, you cannot die and your soul remains trapped in the Nexus. The Nexial Binding sends the user back to the Nexus upon death, but all souls collected will be lost. So you can use that to like warp back to the uh, to the Nexus. I don't think there's anything else here with particular uh, lore stuff in it, though. No. All Guide of Souls. A stone radiant with the light of souls. The color of the light changes according to the souls in the area. It was made by Gary, a friend of Sage Freak, who is known for his magical crafts. Since it's light and easy to handle, it's widely used by travelers. Um, I don't. Uh, that's basically that little crystal on me that allows me to see in dark areas, which is kind of cool. Uh, just weapon stuff. Chainmail. Has anything interesting? Not really. Hat knit with steel wires. Strong against slash attacks. Is often worn by soldiers of the church. Its heaviness slightly impedes stamina regeneration. Um, basically, all the stuff of a similar set will have the same information. The old ragged robes. Robes made laid of ragged fabric. It's covered with tears, unsightly open seams, and numerous unsightly insects wriggling within it. No sane person would dare wear something like this, except I am. Then we have the rings, uh, the ring of Herculean strength, a ring that Stockpile Thomas once picked up off the street, raises maximum item burden, so that just allows you to carry more items in your uh, inventory. I generally, every time I walk back to the Nexus, drop everything off, so it's not really an issue I've run into, but it's nice to have. The Kling Ring, a mysterious ring forged in the shape of an eye. Character loses less HP after becoming a soul. So that's very useful when you're in soul form. And a Thieves Ring, an ancient sapphire ring, it subdues your presence, making it difficult to be detected by enemies. And that item is incredibly useful. Uh, but for now, that is it for this episode. Next time, well, we'll just see if the Maiden in Black has anything more to say, actually. Let's just talk to her. As for me, I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Okay, anything else? Nope, that's it. All right. So next time we are going to venture back into Balateria and we are going to take on the Tower Knight. That'll be the last episode I record today, I think. Uh, the Tower Knight fight, Tower Knight fight is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Um, it should all fit into one episode because we won't be picking up any new lore items or anything. So I'll hope you join me for that and I will catch you next time. Peace out and have a good one.